What's up? This is Donovan Green from Chair Workouts. Today we're going to go over some movements for your knees, uh, stabilization, how to strengthen your knees up. I'm, I'm curing an injury in the right side, so we're going to do some flexibility, some mobility stuff. I'm going to use a bench, but if you don't have a regular bench like this, use a regular chair, use the staircase, the, you know, the steer, the steer riser, whatever you got around you, just use that, okay? So we're going to start off by just taking that leg. Um, I'm going to go my left leg first, and I'm going to extend it out. And I'm going to reach forward here. I'm pulling the toes towards the shin. I want to feel that stretch running right through the hamstrings. I don't want to round my back out. I want to pull the shoulders back and just get a really good stretch. And it doesn't need to feel too harsh, but just enough so you can know that you're stretching. Also, this knee is not locked down like this. There's a slight bend in that knee. Here we go. Ten more seconds. And switch it up. Good. Let's go to the next side. That same treatment. Take your time. Take that deep breath in, deep breath out. Big inhale, big exhale. Ten more seconds. And relax. Good, good, good. Now we're going to take that other leg, put it back to the top. And I'm going to scoot that rear leg back. And I'm going to use my support on the top of the bench, and I'm going to drive that hip forward. Now, I don't want the knees to be like this. I want the knees to be right here, aligned directly to that ankle. The back leg, try to keep the back leg planted to that ground as much as you can. If the heels come off, you're fine. Like, I'm going to lift my heels up. But if you want to get the hamstrings and the calf muscles to feel a little bit more stretch, Plant that heel to that floor. Like right now, my heel is off the ground, but I'm really driving it down to the floor to feel that, that stretch in the calf area, in the rear leg. <sighs> Keep a straight back. Push the hips forward. I want you to feel the stretch running through the hip, the front of the right hip. In my case, I have the left leg forward. But if you have your right leg forward, you want to feel the stretch in the front of your left hip. So drive that hip forward and push the hip in. Good, and relax. Good, take your time coming out of that stretch. Whew. Good, now I'm gonna go to the other side. Same treatment. Remember, knees aligned to that ankle. You wanna feel the stretch right here. Right here in that spot. You feel that? Cause I feel it. Now, if you feel too much in your knee or anything like that, just kind of ease back a little bit out of the tension, okay? This angle might be better for you if you cannot go here. Just find what feels good for you. When I'm healing myself from injuries, I normally tend to be a little bit more aggressive than most. Athletically speaking, I'm an athlete. This is what I do. But if you're not an athlete and you're not used to certain things, then always take it a bit easier than I would normally take it. And relax. Good. Take your time. Beautiful. Now... I'm going to lift the left leg up here, and I'm going to tap back down and repeat. Lift and back down. That's three, four, five, six, seven, 
pull the shoulders back, eight, and tighten those abs up, nine, and 10. You got it? All right, next leg, same thing. Now this is my, this is my, this is my troubled knee, one, two, three, four, five, shoulders back, six, stomach tight, seven, eight, nine, there we go, and 10, perfect. All right, a little bit of stabilization. I'm gonna start off on the right leg. The knees are gonna be soft and I'm gonna use this as my support if I need it. If you don't have good balance, if you have great balance, then that's fine, go without it. The first one we're gonna do, we're gonna lean forward and soften that knee, touch and come back up and attach back down with that foot. That's for one, forward, up, and two, forward, and three, I'm not gonna use the bench anymore. Now you can see it without the bench now. And four, this is working that stabilization through that knee. And five, take your time. Six, you should feel that leg working. Seven, Eight, if you lose your balance, that's okay. Don't get mad about it. Just regain yourself. There's nine. Excellent. And ten. Yep, you definitely get a feel in that leg too, right? You feel the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings. You feel all of those muscles working. Shake it off a little bit. We're going to go to the next side. Take your time. Feel your muscles working, all right? Here we go. One. Keep the back straight, don't round your back out. Two. Three. You got it. Go slower. Don't try to go too fast. Four. And don't forget to pull the shoulders back when you get to the top. Five. Six. Come on, hang in there. Seven. Eight. We have two more. Nine. Last one. And ten. Perfect. Shake that off. Wow. Okay. So now we're going to work a little bit on your extension and your flexion extension is when you're extending out the limbs flexion is when you're closing the limbs so extension you lengthen and flexion is when you shorten so we're going to go through stabilization again you can use the chair use the wall hold on to something we're going to lift that leg up extend out bring it here and down that's one you can put your hands in your hips or put the hands on the outside wherever you feel comfortable that's two again up in three. So you're working on a lot of things here. The standing leg is being stabilized. Four, and you're also working on mobility in the leg that's extending out. Five. Now when you kick that leg out, squeeze those quads. That's the thigh muscles. Six, and only go as high as you can. Maybe you're right here. Maybe that's all you got. That's fine. Seven. We have three more though. Eight, two more. Beautiful. Nine, last one. Up and 10. It's a great leg workout. I'm telling you that right now. It's an excellent leg workout. All right, so we got the next side. Here we go. God gave us two sides, so we have to work them. Ready? And up. Oh, I could feel the difference immediately in this side, but I'm getting stronger here. This is where I did the damage on that knee. Even the mobility is getting better. That's two. Three. Four. 
three, pull the stomach in. There it is, four. Five, we're halfway in. Six, stay there, stay strong. Seven, we have three more, three more to go. Take your time, go slow. Eight, last two. Nine, don't forget to squeeze those quads. Last one and 10. Fantastic, shake that off a bit. Woo. The thing about the knee is looking at the position of your knees, right? And understanding that stabilization is important. Lateral movements, forward, backwards, um, turning, all these things are important. So we're gonna work a little bit on some laterals next. So all we're gonna do now, we're gonna get that position here and I'm gonna work one, two, and then lift that leg up. And then one, two, and lift the leg up. That's one, okay? We're gonna do 10 total on each side. And lift, that's two. Soften the knees, up. Soften, soften, up. That's three, one, two. That's it, and when I go forward, my toes are staying straight ahead. You got it? Here we go, we're halfway in. See, I can feel my knees getting way stronger because I'm not allowing it to fall apart. I'm utilizing the knees for what they're made for, right? The knees are bendable, they're flexible, so you have to work them. There you go. Pull the stomach in nice and tight. Come on, give me a few more extra. We'll do a, a few more extra. I know we're not at 10 yet. I think we're about to be at 10 now, but we can do some more. There it is. And lift. Take your time. Nice. Moving forward. Lift. Excellent. And relax. Nice work. All right, shake it off. Now, we already did the touchdowns. Now we're going to do the touchdowns and bring that knee back up like we just did, all right? Utilize your stabilization. If you don't have a lot of balance, remember, hold on to something so you can have your balance together. Make sense? All right, so here we go. Hands are gonna fold in. I'm gonna go forward like we did before, taking our time. Come up to the top, pick that knee up. That's one, bring it back down, and then repeat. Stabilize through that knee, keep that back straight. Stomach is nice and tight. Lift, and that's two. Come on, keep your focus, stay strong, stay controlled, and up, and that's three. Oh yeah, you're gonna definitely feel the fatigue happening, cause I feel it happening right now. That's four. Keep on controlling, keep on breathing. Don't get frustrated when you lose your balance, okay? Please don't. Five. Take your time, up, six. Okay, we have four more, we can do this, right? My, my foot is on fire, the calf muscles, the bottom of the foot, it wants to stop, but I'm not going to, because like I told you, I like to push through it a bit more. There goes my balance, I regained it back. That's two, hands folded across the body, for me, stabilize, three, last one. Oh boy, and four, oh boy. Ooh, baby, that hurts. That burn is real. All right, so shake it off a little bit, take your time. Big inhale, big exhale, catch your breath before you go to the other side, okay? Listen to what your body's telling you. Always listen to your body. So here we go again. Next side, get yourself prepped, find your balance, and we're gone. That's one. Two. Remember, pull the stomach in tight. 
Don't relax those abs at all. Relax the shoulders. Three. Four. If I'm going too fast for you, just remember to slow it down. This is your exercise, not mine. I'm doing my own. There it is. I can feel that bead of sweat drop into the side of my head. That's good. Seven. I think that's seven. I think I lost count, but it's all right. Eight. Oh, no. It feels like eight. All of this right here. Oh, boy. Ooh. Uh, and relax. Ooh. Ooh, it's almost done. You should feel a lot of strength happening through your body right now. You should feel like everything is just working the way it needs to work. And that's what we want. We want the legs to work. So we're going to go to a little bit of your abductors. It's working back into that lateral plane, that frontal plane. I'm going to soften that knee. We're going to go into your hydrants, right? And it's going to be like this. I'm going to soften up. Lean the bend that leg back. I'm gonna lift up and down. That's one. And up. That's two. Up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Try to stay strong. Come on. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Oh yeah. That definitely got the fire the way it needed to get the fire. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way for the camera angle so you can get a view again. Here we go, soften the knees, and let's go. One, two, notice I'm pausing on the top. Three, four, come on, stay in there. Five, we're halfway in now. Come on, don't stop yet. Six, stop when it's done. Seven, pull the abs in, come on, pull them in. Eight, you have two more. Nine, last one, and 10, fantastic. Woo, all right, working on those knees, man, I'm telling you, it takes time, but if you keep on strengthening your body up and strengthening your mindset, I guarantee you, you're gonna feel the difference, all right? So we have one more thing to go. We're gonna draw a circle, we're gonna stir the pot, utilizing the, hip, the, the knees by itself. I'm not gonna move the hips. We're gonna just draw a circle 10 times to the left, 10 times to the right, and then we'll go to the other leg. Here we go, hands on the hips, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, there it is. All right, same thing on the other side. Come on, let's finish strong, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, that's it. Great work. So we did a whole entire sequence of stabilization, flexibility, mobility drills. Repeat this video as many times as you like. The only way you're gonna get better is by committing to it, getting better 100%. If you keep on babying yourself 100% all the time, you're never going to get better. And what I mean by babying, I'm not saying that you should go aggressive, but what I'm saying, for example, like this knee, when I bend this knee, I have full range of motion, right? This knee, last week, that was all I had. But this week, I have this. Is it hurting me a little bit? Yes. Is it hurting me a lot? Oh, yeah. But I can maintain it, right? And I'm going to hold that. I'm not going to push it any further until next week. So every week, you have to command your body to do what it needs to do to get your body better, okay? And please consult with your doctor at all times, your physical therapist. By no means am I saying this applies to you because each person is different. Anyway, let me get back to the kids. They're over there by the water someplace having fun by the lake and I love it with their family, which I'm their family, but right now I'm your coach. Okay, your body is just a body until you make it a temple. Leave your comments and I'll see you later. Peace. 